In this video, let us see how to convert UDL and UVL to point load. First, UDL to point load. If we see example, in a given beam, load intensity of 10 kN acts at a definite point and another load of 10 kN is uniformly distributed to a span length of 3 meters. So, we convert this 10 kN per meter UDL load to point load. To achieve this, the intensity of uniformly distributed load which is multiplied with the length of the beam up to which the UDL acts. That is, in a given beam, the load intensity of UDL is 10 kN per meter which is multiplied with the length up to which the UDL acts that is 3 meter. Then we will get 30 kN load intensity as a point load for 10 kN per meter UDL. This is the intensity we got. Now the question is at what point this 30 kN point load acts. We use centroid concept for this. For rectangle centroid acts at the middle of the length. So in this beam using a centroid concept the 30 kN point load acts at the middle of the 3 meter UDL length that is at 1.5 meters. Next to convert UVL to point load. Example, if we consider a beam with a load intensity of 10 kN per meter triangular load for 4 meter length of a beam. Since to the triangular load, we get one end of the triangle with zero intensity and another end of a triangle with 10 kN per meter load intensity. To convert triangular loading distribution to point load, we make use of area of triangle concept. Area of triangle which is equal to half into base into height. Here the base value is nothing but length or span up to which the load acts and the height is nothing but the maximum load intensity that is the peak point load intensity. If we substitute we get 20 kN as a point load for 10 kN per meter UVL load. We got load intensity. Now the question is at what position this 20 kN point load acts. For that, we make use of centroid concept again. For triangle, the centroid is located at one third of its distance from apex or two third of its distance from the base of the triangle. So here, one third of the distance, that is height of a triangle, here it is taken as length 4 meter. If you substitute, we will get 1.33 meter from the apex, that is zero intensity endpoint. So finally in this example, 20 kN point load acts at 1.33 meter from apex of a triangular load. This is how we convert UDL and UVL to point load. This conversion helps in solving many problems. Hope that you got to know the conversion. Subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.